Hello again, my T-Rex friends. Hey, are you all doing well in school? Are you listening to your teachers and learning everything that he or she is trying to te tell you? I know some days it's hard to sit still and your tics may act up. Hopefully, you're able to relax and you can concentrate on the lessons that you're being taught. But you know what? I know that gets tough sometimes. When mom and dad leave to go do their grown-up stuff, guess what? I have a story to share with you about Terry, Ozzy, and Andy's day. Oh, I'm sure you may have had similar days, but I hope not too many. So, Mom and Dad, we'll be seeing you guys again soon. My fellow T-Rexers, hey, let's find out what's going on. Well, Terry and his friends, Ozzy and Andy, they're in a little bit of trouble at school today. Uh, it seems that they've been disruptive in class and the teacher couldn't get them to settle down. It all started with Terry doing one of his tics. He was just anxious because you know, he didn't understand the math lesson that the teacher was explaining and you know, it just made his tics worse. They just started coming out of the woodwork. He couldn't control them. And then Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. Ozzy noticed that Terry's desk was a mess. So he told Terry, you get over there and you clean your desk. And, you know, Terry started cleaning it while the teacher was giving the lesson. So, you know, Terry took out everything out of his desk and he just, boom, threw it on the floor. Uh, when Terry started to put it back neatly, guess who showed up then? <laughs> Andy, he came over and uh, he and Terry started playing with different things instead of putting them away. The three dinosaurs were causing uh, quite a major ruckus in class, and so the teacher told them just to go out into the hallway and settle down. As they were walking out the door, Ozzy didn't like it, and he started yelling, It's not fair! It's not my fault! Terry's the one doing it! Andy got sidetracked because he saw a fire truck out the window that was passing by, and so he walked over to the window to watch. And he was really hoping that the lights and siren would come on because that just makes his day. Terry, you know, he started getting nervous and so he even started to tick more. And he accidentally ended up hitting the chair of another one of the students in the class. And he knocked the chair out from right underneath this poor little girl. And she ended up sitting right on her butt. The teacher had enough and walked the three of them down to the principal's office and called their parents. So... When their parents arrived, Terry, Ozzy, and Andy were all sitting there quiet and sad. You know, they didn't mean to act up, and they really didn't even remember much of it. All three of them had big old crocodile tears running down their cheeks, and they were just so sorry. You know, Terry was really worried about the girl that he knocked to the floor. He, he hopes that he didn't hurt her. The principal talked with the parents of the three friends, and... They, they set up a safe room for future times when they might get out of hand. Uh, you know, they're not meaning to be disruptive, and the teacher and the principal both know that, but, you know, they also have to watch out for the other students. And, you know, it's just sometimes the three of them act up, and it, it's all at the same time, and it's just too much. You know, and it's too much for them. So, you know what? Sometimes the Tourette triad, it feeds off of the symptoms of one another. The uh, tics start being a lot more active whenever anxiety creeps in and OCD pops up and causes different things and, and then ADHD if that's present. You get the three of those together and you know you go from having separate things to one big thing and it's just it's tough. It becomes too much for the person to contain and they just need a place to go and compress and decompress and get their composure back. By talking with your school, a plan can be established to help your child address the specific needs that may be needed so they can enjoy the benefits of education without disrupting others or bringing unwanted attention to themselves. Being proactive and speaking with the school either before your child starts, you know, when they're four or five years old, or as soon as they're even diagnosed, uh, that can go a long way in providing your child with any necessary accommodations 
uh, for them to achieve their education. Uh, there are laws in place that provide channels for those needs to be met. And talk to your school about implementing an IEP or a 504. Uh, they should have all the information readily available, and if they don't, contact your state education board and they can jump in immediately and help get the situation rectified. Okay, gang, it's that time again to give your mom and dad that T-Rex hug and tell them that you love them. Make sure you thank them for letting you hear about Terry and his friends. Here's that fist bump. Boom! And this is Megalodon saying goodbye for now. Later, tater. <laughs>